Hey, I'm Tobias Wilhelm, business coach and consultant, and today we're going to talk about business trends for 2018. Um, let's start with millennials. Millennials are still huge, uh, both sales and employment. Now, of course, you have Generation Z that's coming in. And, uh, you know, that means that basically companies have to figure out how to motivate millennials to buy from them and motivate millennials to work for them. And that's something that, you know, traditionally companies have had a little bit of a problem with, especially the companies that are run largely by boomers, by Gen Xers, and they really don't understand what motivates millennials. Um, the narrative is usually out there. If you look at your Facebook timeline, it's like, okay, millennials have caused everything from collapsing uh, restaurants to everything else. And, you know, the truth is it's, it, it sounds great because the, the older generations love to blame the younger ones. But the truth is that there's just a, a shift in thinking. And as a company, if I want to survive that, if I want to keep my business going, then I need to figure out how to actually get into the millennial mindset. And uh, I've done speaking engagements on this. I've talked to companies in, in private Skype sessions and it's, it's just a, a big shift in thinking and it's going to continue in 2018. Um, something else that will continue is the, the trend of learning. People love to learn, especially millennials. Uh, they love to learn things in YouTube videos. They love uh, to, to find out new things, how to do them. Uh, they Google stuff, they, they acquire new skills, whether it's baking or it's uh, uh, fixing things or you, know, you have these tinker workshops where it's like you can go in, you can actually repair a toaster. Not that we've repaired toasters in many years, but that's now a thing again. So people love to learn, and that's where our next trend comes in. Podcasting is continuing to be huge, um, partially because you can listen to a podcast while you're driving to work, while you're on the treadmill, which doesn't really work all that well with video. So, um, you know, and a lot of people like we're doing here, we're having a, a video that basically turns into a podcast, um, and that way you can listen to a podcast while you're doing something else. And uh, the other thing that uh, podcasts, of course, lets you do just like an audiobook. Um, I like to listen to mine at like one and a half speed because it's, it's just the way I take in information. Many, uh, many other people do that. You can basically speed up stuff as you're driving along. Then uh, you're getting an hour and a half worth of listening in an hour. Um, Another shift that's going to happen is in my own coaching and mentoring industry. Uh, there's going to be a big shift to actual experience and value. Um, there's a lot of people out there that think it, it makes you a coach to post some motivational quote on Facebook every day. And quite frankly, that's not adding value to anybody. I mean, I love Einstein quotes as much as anybody else, but what is it actually adding to your business? And uh, a good coach or a good mentor can actually be a sounding board, can help you through decisions, can avoid costly mistakes, and people are going to actually start looking for this instead of having people that are like, yes, I'm 18 years old, and I just graduated from high school, and I'm a business coach. That might happen for some people, but most of the time you want somebody that actually has experience. Um, another big trend is going to be bots and AI. We hear a lot about artificial intelligence and uh, uh, messenger bots, um, text message bots, that kind of stuff. And basically what it is, is a, a for most people, more of a choose your own story. Um, a messenger bot gives you an opportunity to, if somebody messages your Facebook page at two o'clock in the morning, you might not personally be able to respond to them, but you can say, hey, so, these are some of the common questions and at least help them through if somebody's like, hey, what's your menu or what are your hours or where's your website or can we bring in dogs? Do you have a patio? All of that stuff you can address in the messenger bot. Uh, the true AI like Siri and Alexa and uh, Google, that's a little bit different. Most smaller companies can't really afford that. But uh, there's some really easy ways to build messenger bots, to build bots that work through WhatsApp or that work through text messaging even, where I can text the number and I can call off some basic information about some things. Um, voice, also a big thing in 2018. You know, we just talked about Siri and Alexa. Um, you want to make sure that your business is voice compatible and if somebody sits on their sofa and says, hey Alexa, find me the closest Mexican restaurant, 
you want to make sure that your information is available to Siri, to Alexa, to Google to find these things when somebody uses the voice search and that's going to be a huge trend for 2018 because you know uh, Christmas is right around the corner and people buy Echo Dots, they buy the, these uh, voice searchable uh, engines and that's what's going to be driving business in 2018. Um, Bitcoin is another thing and uh, we just had an off-camera conversation about Bitcoin here just a second ago. Um, Bitcoin will go a little bit more mainstream where you can actually say okay so I want to use some of my Bitcoin that I might have stashed away somewhere and redeem it for a, a Amazon purchase or, or use it for something else. Bitcoin has been very volatile here lately as of right now which is uh, December 14th. Um, Bitcoin was at about 16,000 somewhere between 16 and 17 so there's a lot of people now all of a sudden it, it becomes a mainstream conversation I think it's going to be entering the, the mainstream payment. Um, the system behind Bitcoin is the blockchain where basically you have an entire decentralized network of computers that is at this point pretty much unhackable because you would have to hack hundreds of computers all within 10 minutes before they all compare themselves. So that's going to find some new applications in security, probably in healthcare, all the places where you want to make sure that your data is 100% safe and unhackable. I think that's coming. Um, security, of course, I was in a meeting a couple of months ago with somebody from the, the uh, National Chamber in DC. And, uh, you know, small businesses get hacked more in 2017, will get hacked more in 2018 than ever simply because as a small business you have a disadvantage when it comes down to actually securing your, your internal network, securing your own computers. Um, most larger companies can afford IT departments and virus uh, scanners and having people that actually make sure that everything is up to date and you know we all get notifications on our phones and on our computers that there's an update available. Those are really really important. And a lot of small businesses tend to run behind and that is basically where you find these, these huge problems where somebody walks in, in the morning, all the data is encrypted and it'll cost them $300 to, to unencrypt it. And most people, they pay because it's a whole lot less of a pain to just pay the $300 than to end up having to go through thousands of dollars trying to get your data back. So that is why small businesses are super vulnerable and that's why small businesses need to know about cybersecurity. Uh, last but certainly not least, I think the Internet of Things will be much, much more important. Um, from work to home to wearables, you know, the watch right here uh, is connected to the Internet. Your refrigerator, your thermostat, all of those things are starting to be connected and they can start interacting with each other and uh, there's going to be some huge opportunities. It's going to very much change the way we all do business. If I can all of a sudden email my copy machine, I can turn off my thermostat from the road. I can make sure that I turn the lights off or I turn the alarm on. All of these are things that the, the Internet of Things basically entails. There's probably going to be some apps that make life a whole lot easier that allow you to interact with your home, quote unquote. And uh, I think that's another trend for 2018 that's coming up. Um, I hope this is helpful and I hope it gave you some ideas of what to do in 2018, how to make your business better. I would love to hear your feedback. And that's it for today.